Hello, Jamie. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. We are about to start. Daniel Antonio, good evening. Okay, let's just wait for your classmates. How are you, Jamie? Um, is this your first module at Inglés Corporativo? Mm, no. No? Uh, I have, I have studied the last two models. Last two models, intermediate five and six. Yes. That Good. Is. How about you, Carla Lorena? Good evening. Good evening. Is this your first time in English Corporativo or? No. Uh, uh, maybe I have done um, eight books. Eight modules. Wait, no. Yeah. You're, you're do no well, yes. Yes, eight modules. So you work since. Basic four, maybe. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. How about you, Hector? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I have a couple, a couple models before, eh, before maybe I uh, not remember six models before. Six modules. Okay, so you you're coming from yeah, basic six as well. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. that's really good. What about you, Daniel Antonio? Is this your first time with us? Hey, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good Hello, evening. I, I am from the beginning. The first, the first Since model. basic one. Basic one, yeah, from basic one. Um, oh, um, um, uh, one and a half years ago. I don't know. Yeah. Wow. So, so. <laughs> that's good. Stuff. Okay. It's really good. Okay. Um, let me see. We're supposed to be 14. We are 10 right now. So let me start the class uh, by doing the attendance at 8.05. In just one minute, I'll do the attendance and then we'll run a presentation and you will introduce yourselves easily. Don't worry. Nothing fancy, nothing difficult. Let's see how many. 12, 11. Ivan Petrovic. Okay, Ruth Flores. Um, let me correct something. Remember to log in to, with your full name, please, all the time. There we go. Okay. Samantha Campos. Oh, oh, oh. About to remove someone. Okay, let's start the attendance. Uh, please turn on your camera as usual. Recuerden que esta parte del video es auditada por Insaforb. Necesitan ver su rostro para cotejar con el DUI. Thank you. Okay. Adriana José Serna Durán. Thank you, Adriana. Agustarias. Okay. Daniel Antonio Luna. I'm here, teacher. Oh, okay. Look at that. Hold on one minute, please. Protection. Okay, but they gave me access to.
me just a minute. I'm really sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, let me continue with the attendance, although we will correct this later. So Daniel Antonio is here. Erika Jasmine Martinez Carpio. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Hector Francisco Morales Rico. Present teacher. Excellent. Ivan Petrovic Guzman Aquino. Ivan, could you please say here or present? Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Thank you. John Man Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. Excellent. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Thank you. Lucy Natalie Juarez de Ramirez. Nelson Antonio de Rodas Rosales. Present. Thank you. Ruth Isela Joaquin Flores. Present. Thank you. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Thank you. And Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Please turn on your camera. Okay. So tonight I'm supposed to conduct a little presentation for you that just to introduce myself. Although this... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good evening. I have some connection problem at the beginning, but when okay. I'm here. <laughs> Good, Erika. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Okay. So really quick, guys, uh, this is in Spanish. I'm really sorry, uh, but I'll just go through it in English because that's what we're here for, right? We're in Advance One. Welcome to Advance One. My name is Rafael Antonio Rodriguez Linares. If they ask, if they ask at the academy, who's your teacher? Oh, my teacher is Mr. Linares. They know me as, as Mr. Linares, okay? You can call me teacher, you can call me Rafael, and Mr. Linares, whatever you want, okay? About my background and um, studies, let's say, I have um, a 40 in affairs. Um, I was almost graduated from, from that career at the university. Um, but in reality, I got certified with INSAFORP a long time ago. And this is something very interesting. Uh, the fact that I'm a technician in, in business administration in industrial companies helps me to help you during this part of your of your uh, formation of your training why because the topics that we're about to see are very interesting but if the teacher doesn't know a lot some some about the topics you know not a lot because I'm not a wise person but if if the teacher doesn't know or have an idea of for example we're about to talk we're, we're about to talk about um, continuing development, continuous development and how to develop employees, you know, and all of that. So that's very important. Um, I was part of a certification uh, with OIT um, and that was in 2021, 2021, 2022 last year. Um, and that was very good. Uh, how to train teachers. I have some diplomats as well, you know, on t technology of informa information, how to work on, on some presentations. And this, this program was very useful for me, the certification with OIT, because I learned how to develop my skills on training other teachers. Um, this is outdated. Um, 
I'm still working in call centers. I'm part of a, a call center and I work from 5 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. every day. Just today is my day off. On Wednesdays, I rest. But yeah, so it's been since 2005, 17 years working in call centers. I was a manager at an English academy, not English corporativo, but a bigger, a big English academy here in El Salvador. And that was a great experience, I have to tell you, because I developed like 35 teachers. It was amazing. It was a, my best job, I will say. But in reality, it's because I love teaching. I I have been teaching for, oh my God, uh, 2014, seven, seven, eight years already here with this program, with this program, but 10 years of my life I have been teaching. Um, okay. Something about me very interesting for you is that I learned to speak English by myself with a dictionary. <laughs> Okay, since I was seven years old, since I was seven years old, I, I learned with a dictionary. So I do understand your learning process. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. If you think English is difficult, Erika, do you think English is difficult? Actually not. Actually, for me, it's kind of the same because I have been learning English since I was 13 years old, actually. Wow. And it's by myself, actually. <laughs> yeah i mean it's yeah. if you the thing is that if you like it it's easier that, that's the truth okay remember uh for this program thank you Erika. for this program uh, there are some requirements that you need to comply with you need to put your full name when you access the platform don't pay attention to that thing of oyente no nah, don't worry okay make sure you have your camera on okay Make sure your camera is on, especially during the attendance check at the beginning and at the end. I will tell you about it. Come on. I mean, we are not live. You know, we're not face to face. This is a virtual environment. And if your camera is off, I mean, you are not here. As simple as that. You are not here if your camera is off. Okay. Make sure that we don't hear El Pan on the background, okay? Make sure that you are not watching Betty La Fea. Please turn off your TV. Please pay attention and collaborate in the class. We're gonna talk about that in a minute um, because participation participation is, is critical. I, um, I like to make the classes 80-20. I like to use Pareto on, on my classes. I speak at 20% just a 20% and you talk an 80%. Do we have a deal? Yes? Vanessa, do you want to speak English? Eh. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, right? So that's what we're here for. No Spanish, try it. My job is to correct your areas of improvement. And if you don't speak, if you don't speak, how am I supposed to help you? Okay. Attendance, 100% on the classes. Okay. Uh, it's not just, you know, when, when to say, you need to say present. Okay. You need to say present when I ask for your name, turn on the microphone and say hi, present. Okay. We take the attendance two times. Okay. Not, not three, just two times at the beginning of the class and at the end of the class. And it is only valid if you say here or present, okay? Every day, every class, I will stay with someone. For example, tonight, I need Adriana Jose Serna Duran to stay for 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes. It's, it's just 10 minutes, okay? At the end of the class. Good. Um, she didn't say okay, Adriana. <laughs> Are you around? Hello. That's one more thing. If you don't, if you don't talk, oh no, we cannot hear you. Uh, that's heartbreaking. Okay. So every day, one-on-one -on -one sessions after the class. I cannot give you permission. I'm sick. I'm not showing up on the class. Okay. 
at least an 80 percent um, of the platform needs to be uh, completed by the end of the module don't pay attention to these dates this is wrong okay the the date is wrong here we're starting today which is august 30th and we have five weeks Woo! five weeks oh my god and most likely we will be done by october 4th october 4th is most likely our last day okay that's the attendance so far okay so uh, about the platform make sure you have access to the platform and make sure to complete the exercises after the class okay and because we will be covering these topics oh by the way the manual the student's book it's on your platform you can download it okay that's the whole purpose and about the meetings you already know you are familiar with the bottom the silence the muting bottom the camera again make sure it's on there's a zoom chat we will use it a lot okay uh breakout rooms is another option we will use a lot and when you're on a breakout room remember you have the invocation button you can invoke the teacher pueden invocarme when you are in breakout rooms okay and i will show up so again i'm 41 i'm not 28 i'm 41 years old i love teaching i'm crazy about teaching if you really want to learn uh just let me know and i will push you because that's my job to push you and make sure we go uh, over these this areas of improvement. Um, I like to attack uh, pronunciation, not just grammar, you know, like, uh, grammar is a little bit boring, in my opinion. I prefer to provide feedback right away. Okay? So, I don't know, do you have any questions about me, about what I have said? I don't know. What are your expectations about this module? So number one, say your name. Number two, tell me if this is your first module. Number three, make me a question, any question. And let's start with Jamie. From left to right. Hello, mm -hmm. Hello. Uh, my name is Jamie. Um, my objective to this model is try to get a skill of speech because I I noticed that is is the most the more difficult for me and sometimes uh, I I have difficulties too with uh, listen when I when I heard uh I speech for. When you see, for example, a video in of YouTube or whatever topic, and sometimes I it's difficult because I don't understand at all. So I would like to try to to understand all the messages. The message, okay. Why are you learning English? Why? Mm -hmm. Um because I want to move to another country and oh. I have. Good. So, and, and how old are you? I'm sorry, Jamie. 30. <laughs> You're 30. Yes. That's awesome. That's a great decision. Ireland, Ireland is, is taking people to learn English. You can go move to Ireland and get a job as a waiter or things like that. And you can study at the same time. That's uh, wonderful. I'm married. I have kids, you know, so I cannot think about traveling <laughs> anymore. <laughs> yes. uh, I would like to um, tell you or tell them that in the next days I'm going to take the EL, so I so worry. <laughs> Why are you taking the ELST uh, test? Because it's a requirement. Requirement? requirements for 
do all the process. Graduation. Uh, mm, it's a process to immigration. For is an a process for the migration program. Okay, for to immigrate to immigrate to migrate. Okay, wow. Okay, I'll give you some tips later. Okay, good job. Thank you, Jamie. Who is next? Okay, <laughs> let me choose someone. Uh, I have Daniel Antonio next. Okay, teacher. Hello, my name is Daniel Antonio, and I stay here because I need to 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 do better uh, to speak English because I need in my in my in my workplace. I I practice. I I talk with American people, and I try to to do better every day. Oh, you sound good. That sounds good. Really good. Um, well, that's what you're here for. English for work. That's really good. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Daniel Antonio. Thank you, teacher. Nelson Antonio. Good evening. My name is Nelson Antonio Rodas. And I, I wish to learn English. Maybe uh, get better at job. And I and also I I wish to talk uh, in front or face to face with another person or people without nervous. Without getting nervous. Without getting nervous. Okay. Don't worry. You will do it here. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay. You're welcome, Hector Francisco. Hello everyone. Um, can you see my name is Dr. Francisco Morales Rico? Rico in English. Rico is in Spanish. <laughs> uh, like you, I am a little, little, pretty crazy sometimes. I like uh, my work. I work in a in an environment, 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 environment uh, institution. I like work with the people in the rural uh, zone. Mm, Sometimes is uh, I go. We go to the another department. Department. The, mm -hmm. And in this case, it's difficult connect in the in the class because the internet connection is very very bad. Unstable. But, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, it's, it's it's difficult, but I like it. I like it. I, I won't learn English because I think it's necessary for get the better information uh, for my work. Maybe I is is I don't have a lot possibility to talk with another people uh, with another the, of another country. Uh, my English is uh, only for for real or or ear information, see movie, uh, music in English is better. But uh, maybe if in a future, uh, travel another country and, and ha get opportunity for, um, for talk. That's it, teacher. Excellent, okay. Hey, the use of four or two prepositions, four or two. Sorry? Um, the use of prepositions, four or two? Four. Excellent. No, 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 I'm telling you, to study, you have to study four or two, four or two, okay? No, uh -huh. Just study four versus two. Do exercises about four or two. Exercise? Yeah, do some exercises of four and two, when to use four, when to use two. And it's very simple, actually. After two, you have a verb, okay? After mm -hmm. two, you have a uh -huh. verb. After four, you have a noun, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I live <laughs> my life for you, for you, okay? 
Uh -huh. I, what else, what else? Uh, oh my God. Oh, I like to cook. I want to cook. I have to go. Yep, I need to move. Oh, okay. Think about Thank it. Think you. about it. Good job. Okay, I get. I get. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Vanessa Noemi. Good evening, everyone. My name is Vanessa. I'm in this in this classes from the intermediate one. And why I'm studying English? Uh, because I think it's a better way to, to improve your skills. I think it's in these days, it's very important to know other others' languages, not only English. I think it's important to to learn another's words. So in, in my case, uh, the next year, I am going to be in another position in the work. So in this new position, I need to, to speak uh, with clients in English. In English. So I have to, to improve my, my fluency, my, my listening, and I think this is the better way to do it. So um, I'm trying to do my best to, to improve it. And, and for this reason, I'm studying English. Excellent. Okay, Vanessa, great job. And, and I hope, well, you look very young. That's why I'm, I'm focusing on teenagers, you know, although we, we, if we're 40, I don't know, 50, we can still do a lot. We can still do a lot. And then, but English is, is important. Me, me without English. Oh my God. I don't know what I will be doing, honestly, but we will talk about that in a minute. Adriana, say. Oh, Adriana's microphone is not working. Sorry, sorry. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Hi, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> well, um, my name is Rihanna. Is it? Uh, um, I like to be called by my just my first and second name. I don't like my my last name, but that's something. <laughs> um, about me, I work in a marketing agency, and and this is my first time here. Um, well, what more? Mm, I'm here because I want to improve my English and practice more because I think that I have a lot of time without practice and mm, and I'm here also with, because I want to improve my skills and get an better job someday. <laughs> okay, good, good job. Okay. Hmm, marketing, you're gonna like this. I think, let me see, let me remember. Where did I put that thing? Here it is, okay, but. Oh my God, I missed the book and I had it here somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, you're gonna like this module. Uh, I've been from basic to advanced. I mean, and I'm always on advanced models. I'll tell you why in just a minute. Um, Ruth Isela. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Um, my name is Ruth Flores. I am 28 years old. My, um, my expectations are to learn English again, to improve my, my listening. It is very difficult for me. And I have, I have the doubt to of practice of class for about a year. However, I would like um, to advance more in to advance more in its or pronounce it better among all others. This is first time studying with corporate English. With English corporativo, okay. It's the first time you're here. Okay. 
Good, good job. Well, uh, both, I mean, all of you so far speak very well. I think we can do a lot. And this is the purpose of listening to you. I, I, I have to, you know, hmm, get to know you a little. And that's just by listening to you. So that's good. Carla Lorena Leiva. Good evening. My name is Carla Leiva. Um, I always wanted to learn English, but I can't, I couldn't because my job, for the job. And um, uh, I started in intermediate form, I think. Uh, Maybe uh, I returned one month ago because English Corporative stopped the class uh, for six months. And I, I can continue. And I want to learn English because uh, uh, I, I I want to talk with foreigners. I want to talk with, I traveled to visit my sister in the United States. And maybe for the job too, because in the company that I work, there are uh, many people that, that uh, foreigners. And I want to speak English with us. With them, good. Hey, I like something about you, Carla. You auto-correct yourself, and that's good. That's perfect. If you auto-correct yourself, guys, you're done. You're set. That's very important. We will. I will tell you how. Great job. Thank you, Carla. Lorena, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Erika Hasmin. Yes, good evening. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, if, if you don't know, if you don't want to hear me, it's okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I want to. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> okay, good evening. My name is uh, Erica Carpio. Actually, I work in a call center. I don't use the English every day, just sometimes in my work. The expectation or my mission in this model <laughs> is to learn grammar. Because for to be completely honest, I have been learning English since I was 13, but myself, I never go to academy, never. This is my first time <laughs> receiving English classes. So that's what I want to learn, grammar. Yeah. And a uh, I'm learning English because I really love the languages. I really love it. Actually, if they, they were going to pay in these classes, why not? So <laughs> I'm here learning <laughs> English. So that's it, I guess. <laughs> Good job. How long have you been working at the call center? Uh, the next month is going to be uh, one year, actually. Wow. Okay. <laughs> awesome. On back office, I guess. Actually not. On the building, I'm on the building. Oh, no, no, no. But I mean, uh, your job is in back office. You don't take calls. Actually, I'm a manager. Oh, okay. In a, awesome. credit, uh, in a, credit, in a credit team. Oh. Actually, we repair the credit for people in the United States. So sometimes I, it's kind of like I'm a, inter, I don't know if it's an interpreter, interpreter. or a translator. Interpreter or translator yes interpreter yes, or yes. translator okay yes. yes so in my in my work i'm gonna be better actually and that's why that's it <laughs> yes awesome well this this module is gonna help you we, we're gonna talk about well the future modules as well we talk about managing marketing and some other topics how to improve yourself you know uh self-esteem and all that all that is coming on on the final modules the final stages good Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Um, who else is missing? Fatima Aguilar? Good evening, everyone. My name is Fatima. Um, 
I want to learn English because I, I want to grow up in the company and for the, the position about finance, I need, I need talk to English because I need talk with clients. Okay, you need to talk with clients, yes. you need to speak with clients. Okay, how long have you worked in, in this company? I have four years, I think. Four years working, okay. Awesome, don't worry. I'm noticing that, yeah, pronunciation and, and fluency is what all of you want and don't worry, we will get, get there. Thank you, nice to meet you, Fatima. Joel Mansour. Hi, good evening. Uh, well, I I am I am Holman Sanchez, and I am twenty three years old. And well, I study I study English because well, firstly. I I like English. I I listen a lot of different kinds of music from America. So I think I think I love the music, but it's it's in English. So I like the English because I um uh, I I like the the culture the the American culture. I, uh, and so I, I, I want to, to have, I, I, I like, I would like to, to work with, with, with the, with, with English. Hmm. Okay. I, think I like, so if I work with, with the English, it's okay for me because I like, <laughs> I was your age when I first got, well, when I got my first job at a call center. In 2005, I started working at Atento with U.S. Airways, an airline. Man, I was amused. And I spoke like you, gentlemen. My accent, my, you know, speech was very slow. And, and I was doubting, you know, about myself. I, I didn't have confidence. You just need confidence. That's all. If you like music, I, I used to say the same thing, you know. I love this music. I like Frank Sinatra, Nat King Cole, Paul Anka, The Beatles, um, The Rolling Stones, but then Pantera, Sepultura. <laughs> then I moved to uh, ACDC, AC -DC, Pearl Jam, actually. <laughs> You know, uh, yeah, Ramstein. I love German music as well. I was learning German, but I, I, I didn't make it anymore. And why am I telling you this? Music is good. Uh, music is good, actually, but it's not going to help you. Um, let me remove the background just for a minute. It's not going to help you um, to learn pronunciation. That, that's that's the truth. I, I can't remember how to remove the background, but anyways. The thing is that um, music was the influence in me to learn English. When I was seven years old, my grand, well, my uncle, my uncle was listening to uh, Frank Sinatra, and I was like, my mom, my mom left to the States when I was seven, so I, I was listening to him, and, and I said, hey, you know what, what, what is that? Right in Spanish, of course. <laughs> I was from Santa Ana, so and he was like, Oh, that's that's so that's jazz, that's Frank Sinatra. No, no, no. I said, but what is he saying? Oh, that's English. And then he gave me a, an Oceano dictionary. Remember, Daniel? <laughs> little dictionaries from Oceano. It was like, Yeah, here you have a little dictionary. And I started <laughs> translating the songs little by little then one more thing Holman Gilman mimic 
I'm good at mimicking. And this is funny because as a manager, I learned to fire people like that. You know, my boss told, told us, the managers, he, we had a meeting and he said, I'm going to teach you today how to fire someone in two minutes. I was like, okay. So I recorded him. I recorded him and then I learned the speech. Man, I became so good that I let I let go of nine teachers. You know, I let them go because I didn't need them. I mean, it was. Ah. But anyways, I was the only one firing people. It was because I could mimic others. And in your case, in everybody here, I'm here to be your mold. You have to mimic my pronunciation. Okay. That's the idea. You have to mimic your teacher's pronunciation. If you have a good teacher, just mimic him. Mimic his articulation and you're done. That's all. Okay. That's all it takes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Nice to meet you. Let's go with Nelson Antonio. I'm ready, teacher. Hold on. You already... What? No. Yes, I talk, I, talk, I, I talk about me. Oh, really? I'm sorry. I'm lost then, Ivan. Ivan? Hello, everyone. Hello? Yep, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, my name is Ivan Guzman. Um, I have uh, 44 years old. I live in uh, Soyapango. Um, I'm working in uh, Soyapango, too, <laughs> in the area of finance. Um, I am a business administrator. Okay, How, is this your first time with English Corporativo? No, no, no. Uh, I I recibí, I received uh, the others. Uh, other models. Uh, the other class. Other classes. Okay. Okay. Welcome. Welcome, Ivan. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. And let me see who else is missing. We're missing one person, um, Ruth, Isela, and Samantha, right? Hello, Ruth or Samantha? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, my name is Samantha Campos. And um, I started learning English uh, two models before in intermediate five. Um, uh, and I learned English because uh, in the future I would like to get a better job. And improve my my profile to another com companies and uh, it's very interesting for me because in the company that I work uh, only a few people uh, uh, speak English so I think it's important for me to um, destaca to improve this thing okay to excel that that's really good samantha thank you huh. uh you, you said something very interesting is that at this point in 2023 imagine 2023 uh, when i was like like joel uh 23 years old i remember everybody used to go like man you have to learn english you have to learn com about computers, you know, about systems, because that's the future. But nowadays, everybody's like, you have to learn English. You have to know about computers, artificial intelligence, about marketing. Um, what else? That's it. How to sell products online. I mean, uh, that that's all. And we're still talking about learning English, but... I don't know. I think you can still make it and we can still make it. 
uh, a uno no deja el tren, como decimos en El Salvador, right? So that, that's really good. Okay, I think we're done. Are we missing anybody? No? Ivan is at the Lago de Cuatepeque, I think, right? Or Ilopango, I don't know. No, no, yeah. Cuatepeque Lake. Oh, really? <laughs> really? <Okay. laughs> Beautiful. I know, I'm from Santa Ana, but I moved here when I was 16 years old and I used to work at Multicinema Reforma making hot dogs. Yeah, yeah. yeah a long time. <laughs> long time ago. Yeah, long, long time, time ago. ago. And then I, but at the same time, I was, I was working at the cinema and studying my bachelor's degree. And then I took the te technical career with Insaforp. That changed my life. And then in 2005, I became a call centerero. And that improved my accent. I have never been out of the state. Um, and I have been in so many positions, guys, but I loved my jobs. Out of all the jobs that I have had, um, this is like what I really, really love and I think I'm made for, which is teaching. Because it, I, I like helping others, you know, just the way Hector said, there's no better um, feeling than when you listen to a student uh, say something perfect. For example, Ivan, can you repeat the word first? First. Huh. Is that right, Adriana? I think. <laughs> Can you repeat first, Adriana? First. Okay, listen, Ivan, again. First. First. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay, Adriana, do it again. First. Ivan. First. Mm. Listen to Fatima. First. Ivan. First. Mm. Still, what's missing? Is uh, the final pronunciation. Hey, a, you got it. And you know, <laughs> final sounds. Every word you say in English has a final sound. Okay. And the way you do it, oh, sorry. The way you do it is this way. You, it's three sounds. Okay. The, first you have, okay, you blow air. Then you have, and finally, you have. Dan, dan, dan. No, I'm sorry. Okay. First. First. Ivan? First. First. Close. First. 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 Okay. You got it. Okay. Now, repeat with me. Yeah. There you go. Now do this first. First. Oh, come on. First. First. Close. Okay, so <laughs> what do you do? You focus on the s and then you do t. Okay? First. Practice. Practice. Now, this is very important. You cannot stay just with the two hours in class. Okay? You have to practice after the class. How do you practice? Well, I'll send you a few documents to your WhatsApp. I think I can do it easily right now because I have another group. They have another module. Right now I'm teaching from seven to eight before your class. And then you from eight to 10. Okay. Hold on. So I'm sending you right now a list of verbs and the methodology that I use, the diet, in 2016. I'm sorry, do you hear that noise? No? No, okay. My wife is blending frijoles, so uh, wait. Where are you? There you are. Okay, ready? Look at your WhatsApp. Okay. What is that? 
you have a list of verbs, two lists of verbs, okay? Divided in regulars and irregulars. You have a diet. Esto no es obligación. Super rápido, ya me tardé mucho. Eh, dos minutos. En 2016 me, es, me fui a vivir solo por cuatro meses y descubrí que tenía que corregir muchas cosas en mí. Las hice, rebajé 40 libras en, en esos cuatro meses. Eh, Súper raro. Poder de convicción, poder creerte que realmente puedes cambiar tu vida. Se puede, pero te, te tienes que repetir a diario. ¿Sí? Entonces, quiero que penses en eso. Si quieres mejorar tu pronunciación, la gramática, ese PDF que dice poner alarmas, ¿sí? Ojo, todos, si sentís que a este punto ya vas, te atrasaste y te quedan seis módulos todavía, en seis meses puedes hacer muchísimo hasta rebajar 60 libras. Sí se puede, pero todo es propósito. Y el propósito conlleva sacrificio, porque lo bueno cuesta, ¿sí o no? Un sacrificio muy fuerte, ¿no? Entonces, ¿qué vas a hacer? De lunes a domingo, organizate, eso lo haces ahora, no le des más tiempo. Después de la clase te quedas, compré un libro en blanco y un lapicero de cuatro minas de colores y seguí esa dieta. Si sientes que necesitas mejorar la gramática, es tan fácil como eso. La repetición constante de, de algo se vuelve una costumbre, ¿no? Y la costumbre se vuelve disciplina, ¿ok? Les va a sonar a algunos, eh, la disciplina es eso, no les voy a preguntar qué es, no me va a demorar mucho. Es hacer lo que tenés que hacer cuando lo tenés que hacer, aunque no lo quieras hacer. Hacer lo que tengo que hacer cuando lo tengo que hacer, aunque no lo quiera hacer. Y eso lo puedes escribir, poner tu nombre y decir, yo, Fátima Aguilar, hago lo que tengo que hacer cuando lo tengo que hacer, aunque no lo quiera hacer. Forzarte a hacer lo que necesitas en tu vida. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo lo hago? Organizate. Lunes, haces presente simple, positivo o negativo, pregunta. Nosotros solíamos pedirle en este lugar a los alumnos que se memorizaran cinco verbos todos los días. Cinco verbos memorizados, si te los tenías que aprender. Si no, te sacaba del salón y tenías que repetir 25 líneas de ese verbo, los verbos que tenías que hacer. No funcionaba. ¿Por qué? Porque tú le dices a tu esposo, no vayas a venir borracho. ¿Cómo va a llegar? Sí. Ese es el poder de la convicción. A al, la al inversa, ¿no? Entonces, ni siquiera había pensado en tomar el nombre, quizás. Lo mismo te va a ocurrir a ti. Sí, tenés que decirte cosas positivas y convencerte de que esto te va a servir. Lunes, presente simple. Martes, pasado simple. Estudio los ED endings y por eso estaba molestando a Iván. Porque eh, todos, eh, todos, muy probablemente más de alguno, la mayoría, cometa ese error de no haber aprendido aún el t -t -t -t, ¿Ok? El zzz, que es la D al final de las palabras en pasado simple los verbos regulares, es el listado que les envían hay una columna ahí que tiene una t, t, una T, ojo, tiene una D, cuando decís saved, saved, por ejemplo, grabbed, ok, y tiene otra I, la T, la D, oh my God, se me olvidó la otra, ya le voy a enviar un video sobre los ID endings, um, es muy útil, ID, ID, ah, muy bien, acted, Active, por ejemplo. ¿Ok? Wanted. Wanted. Entonces, práctica. De lunes a viernes, agarras eso. Lunes presente simple. Martes presente continuo. Miércoles pasado simple. Pasado continuo. O sea, ¿cuántos todos los símbolos gramaticales que has visto hasta este punto? Eh, ¿Qué es lo que sigue? También está ahí el por qué. ¿Qué es lo que les es? Esto que les estoy explicando es ahí en negritas también. No es obligatorio, esto es si tú quieres avanzar más rápido. Hay algo buenísimo que es una página que se llama Ron Chan. Son 250 conversaciones. Agarras una conversación por semana. Ojo, Adriana, decía, ¿no? Tú puedes mejorar la pronunciación, pero tienes que entender una cosa. Tu cerebro a este punto se ha convencido de que la palabra L O V E se lo ve, porque así lo aprendió desde chiquito, ¿sí o no, Daniel? O sea, yo estoy acostumbrado a leer la O como la O y la E como E, y mi cerebro se acostumbra a eso, y dice lo ve. Entonces, ¿qué haces primero? Agarrar indiscriminadamente cualquiera de esos audios, son conversaciones entre dos personas, escribirlas en ese cuadro en blanco que te digo, o las imprimís, y el primero y segundo día solo lees con la vista. Qué raro, ¿no? Lees con la vista, con la boca no. Callado, solo observando y escuchando. 
ni vas leyendo. Dos días. Tu cerebro tiene que entender que se lee de otra forma. Y va a decir, ah, ok. Tercer, cuarto día, empezás a articular. No te he dicho traducir. Articulás tres, cuarto días. Ok. Quinto día, empiezo a grabarme. Le doy un buen uso al teléfono y me grabo. Me gusta lo que escucho. Agarro confianza. Yo, man, agarro confianza. El sexto día, grabo el definitivo. Y aquí viene lo más importante de todo esto, Carla Lorena. Comparo los dos audios. El del celular y el que está en la página. Uno, dos, tres. ¡pum! Primera reacción de todo ser humano. ¡Qué fea, amigo! Oh, ¡Dios mío! Right? Sabías que no suena tan sexy tu voz como crees. <risa> en grabación, ¿ok? Para que te desengañes. Segunda reacción. Hey, dije bien eso, súper bien. ¿Qué dije ahí? Así no se dice esto, ok. Ah, eso está bien, ok. Al final hace una cuenta. O sea, 50 palabras, dije 20, mal. No me merezco el dulce que me quería dar. Premiate. Entonces, ojo, ¿eh? todo esto sirve, sirve, pero si sí lo haces. Si sí lo volvés una disciplina, algo que vas a estar, estando, vas a estar haciendo constantemente. Ahí está cómo hacer esto, desglosado de lo que les acabo de explicar. Y por último, ¿qué vas a hacer? Lo que hacen los bichos de hoy, por eso aprenden muy rápido inglés. Identificar la gramática en las oraciones, nuevas palabras, nuevo vocabulario. Y por último, traducir. Si deseas hacerlo aún, si crees que no necesitas. ¿Ok? Uh, bien, súper rápido. ¿Sirve esto, sí o no? Yep. Yes. Yes. Ok. Porque estas dos horas clases las vamos a utilizar para hablar. ¿Hablar de qué? Temas que tenemos que abordar y que de acuerdo en esa forma. Y sí, yo estoy muy de acuerdo en esto. Te van a ayudar en tu desarrollo profesional y personal. Um, ¿De qué manera? Créelo o no. Un día me encontré hablando. O sea, eso. Créelo o no. El hecho de que te va a ayudar en tu vida. Um, de la nada, entre gerentes, me encontré hablando sobre desarrollo profesional en una empresa, y, y, y se quedaron, ¿y qué es eso? O sea, tenía un grupo de 13 agentes, aparte de mí, de gerentes, que no sabían qué era el desarrollo profesional en una empresa. Esa oportunidad que te da el empleador de estudiar y trabajar a la vez para poder crecer dentro de la compañía, por el temor de dejarte ir, de que te salga lo mejor al haber aprendido algo, ¿no? es un factor común. Entonces, esos temas los tenemos que volver entretenidos. ¿Cómo lo hacemos? no teniendo una clase teacher center. Yo no soy el centro de esta clase, son ustedes. ¿Cómo se logra eso? Ustedes hacen la clase. Entonces van a desarrollar los temas por su propia cuenta. Vamos a hacer actividades que conlleven hablar. ¿Ok? Good. Claro, jamás le voy a decir, no, Fátima, porque dijo eso. Uy, no. No sé. Ay, no, Dios mío, no se dice así. No, yo no voy a hacer eso. Jamás jamás, ok, le voy a decir a Fátima good job, Fátima that's the way you do it let's improve this this, this, repeat what, ok, Adriana oh good, listen, repeat good job ok so, alguna pregunta duda, inquietud no ok <laughs> Good. So let's start. Bien, eh, espero no haberles aburrido con esa pequeña introducción. Yo en realidad no debería estar hablando en español porque lo acabo de aprender. <laughs> Soy más salvadoreño que ustedes. Eh? So let's do this. How do we do it? Let's look at the book really quick, guys. Uh, the, the main topics continuing professional development. Continuing professional development. What kind of trainings do you need? What do you need in your company to grow, as someone said? Okay. Benefits of promoting professional development in your company is like, why do employees need to grow? Okay. And so on, right? We will talk about that. Train the workforce. What kind of trainings do, do you need? What kind of trainings do you need to teach your employees? What are the needs? of assessment in your company. We will discuss that, identify those needs. Leading millennials. <laughs> in 2000, 
2014, let me think about this. Wait a minute. Yeah, 2014, this course, 2012, actually, they designed these books to improve the employees. If you have noticed from basic one through intermediate, we go by departments, right? We talk about human resources. I think you you, you started accounting on intermediate six. Who remember accounting? Who remembers accounting? Jamie, do you remember accounting last module? No. Okay. <laughs> yes, accounting was boring. Okay, so leading millennials, that is an amazing topic, a discussion. We will have a um, debate in the class if you speak okay and something very amazing the generational gap the generation gap of the, at the workplace do you think that jamie i don't know and daniel could talk at the same level daniel and, and jamie could maintain a conversation about a topic of common interest Yes. Do you think Danielle and Jamie could talk about music? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Me, if I if I tell Jamie about the platters, Daniel, the platters. That's like what? Platters? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the platters, Daniel? Uh, Only uh... you. Wow. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. I know the music, but I know I don't I don't I don't know the, the, the names the, of the singers the, and all yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's my point. Generational gap, you know, there's a big gap sometimes in some works, some places. I'm sorry. Okay, so tonight we have to start the class talking about grammar. Uh, okay, let's go with the grammar. Do you remember the fanboys? Okay, fanboys. I don't know who did this, but for and nor, but or yet. So connectors, conjunctions. So this is very similar. Pair conjunctions are connectors, pair connectors. Connectors that need to go together. Okay. So let's see, Hector, could you help us? Let's start participating. Read, please. Read the first part of yep. the picture. Okay. Uh, favorite conjunction comes Conju in pairs. Of, okay, um, let's start. Conjunctions. 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 Good. Conjunctions. Mm -hmm. Common in pairs such as not only, but also, and but, and. Okay, let's correct that. As not only, not only. Not only, not only. But also. But also. Good, but also. Both. 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 Uh -huh, very good. Like. Like a bus, like a bus. Like, bus. like, cuando tenés una TH al final de una palabra suena Z. Both. Like a bus. Both. There you go. Both. And, okay, continue. Okay. Like the fanboys for and not but or yet so. Payroll conjunctions are used to connect. Conjunction. Are you sure to connect? Conjunctions. Conjunctions. Ah, it's not a you. It's conjun. Oh, hold on. Conjun ah, conjunctions. Conjunctions. Better. Good job. Uh huh. Conjunction are, are you sure to connect? Oh, 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 wait. To, uh, are you used? Used. Uh -uh. used. Used. Repeat. Used. Like used. Good. Used to ah. connect. Are used to connect to and clouds. Do it again. Used. Are used to connect. To connect to clouds. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Phrases 
phrases. Or phrases or word. words. 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 Look at me. Words. Words. Mm -hmm. Do I you words. words? Words. Better. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, Hector. Bien, una cosa más acerca de mí. Soy muy terco. Okay. I'm stubborn. I'm <laughs> stubborn. No dejo ir áreas de oportunidad hasta que la superamos. Okay. I'm sorry. Pero no. es muy importante. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Daniel, would you like to continue? No, ya me dio miedo. No quiero, teacher. Come on. Oh, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. <laughs> That's the attitude. Okay. You thank can you. do it. You can do it, my friend. You're brave. <laughs> they they did learning from the fact that they always work. But parts of the player have to be used. Uh, uh, used. Used to in, be used in, in different, different places. In a sentence. In a sentence for them to make sense. For them to make sense. For them to make sense. Excellent. Okay, good job. Let's go with Nelson. Use not only, but also. Use not, not only, but, but also. Informal context to add more information as you collect two elements in a sentence. Thank you. Let's continue with Nelson Antonio. Thank you, Daniel. Oh, wait, Nelson, okay. continue here because we need the example. So use not only but also informal contexts to add more information as you connect two elements in a sentence. For example. Not only did he get a scholarship, but also he got the sponsorships to finish his studies. Good job. Hey, repeat with me, Nelson. Repeat with me, Nelson. Okay. Uh -uh. Ya merito, llegamos. That's the P sound. Repeat, scholarship. 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 Ship. Ship. Uh huh. It's an S. No, it's ch ch ch. It's sh. Ship. Scholarship. Good. Better. Okay. Sponsorship. Sponsorship. Mm. Sponsorship. Sponsorship. Ship. Ship. Ah, ship. Difficult <laughs> teacher. No, it's not difficult. You can do it. Ship, 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 ship. Ahí Good job. Ship. And lastly, good job, dijo, his studies. To finish his studies. This no es fácil, eh? To finish his studies. To finish his studies. Good job. Thank you. Continue. The company offered... The company offered not only training uh, sessions. Wait, wait, wait. Offered. Offered. The company offered. Not only. Mm -hmm. Not only. Not only training sessions. But also. But, all, but uh -huh. also a, a mentorship program. Good job. <laughs> a mentorship program. So as you notice you have to use the PERT connector, the PERT conjunction. You need to say not only, and then, but also. Now, notice one thing. Not only is opening this sentence, then you have something in the middle, a comma, then you need the new connector, but also. So before the next connector, the next, per conjunction, you need a comma, okay? Not only this comma, but also this. Number two, notice you have a subject here, 
okay? You have an auxiliary, so just make sure you notice the, the structure. Now, in this example, we have, okay, a noun or a subject. The company offered, the company or the subject did this, not only, okay, again, training sessions, but also, and again, the comma before, but also a mentorship program. Let's continue and, and let's, do you have questions with this? Not only middle, but also. Mm -hmm. Let's make some examples, shall we? Arena. I have to give an example. Yes, not only, but also. Mm -hmm. Not only, but also, um, but first, I think that I think and that I need to to comprehend um the the conjunctions. Not um, only I need to comprehend more about per conjunctions, but also I need to practice. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that is nice example. <laughs> Okay, give me one example. Mm, not only I mm, I need to improve my English, but also I need to work on my pronunciation. Perfect. That's simple. It's just <laughs> con contrasting. Good job, Ariana. Good job. It's just contrasting. Uh, somebody else, Fatima, someone? Teacher. Hey. I have a question. Nelson, mm -hmm. uh, is I not only or not only I? Mm, good point. You can use both. Look at the examples. First, you have not only opening a sentence or you have a subject and then the not only. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. Yeah, yeah. Teacher, an example maybe can be the not only need a new dress, but also new shoes. Yeah, that's another example. Now, this is not written in rock, okay? And that's the point. You can give the sense that you want. It's not just about... Uh, and, and a specific topic of the book, you can make your own examples to understand the grammar. Well, more than understanding, use the grammar, which is what we're doing right now. Okay. Let's see with both N. It's easier. Both N is easier. Uh, let's see. Fatima, would you please read? Use both N. Use both and to emphasize the link between two ideas. Do it again. Use both and. Use both uh, and. Both, both. Both. Both and. Use, use both and to emphasize to, the link uh, wait, between two to, ideas. Help me. To emphasize. To emphasize. To emphasize the link between two ideas. To emphasize the link between two ideas. Perfect. Continue. Both. Both feedback and mentorship are important elements of a, of professional develop, development. De development. Development. Una clave más. Si yo veo una, una palabra que no conocía antes. Thank you, Fatima. Si no conozco una palabra, lo que hago es... Bueno, eso es un consejo. Eh, pueden manchar su libro o escribir la parte y notar dónde está el estrés de la sílaba. So, for example, development, development, or development, no, development, development. ¿Y cómo hago eso si no tengo al teacher conmigo y veo una nueva palabra? Pues me voy a juglish.com, que ahí está en lo que les envié. Elijo US, escribo development. Y me va a dar varios videos donde sale más que nada Obama, sale mucho ahí, el presidente Obama. Eh, um, personas diciendo esa palabra en el momento exacto. Puedo darle al siguiente video de YouTube y me va a salir ahí también. 
varias personas practicando la misma palabra, ¿ok? Para que identifiques el estrés de la sílaba. Todas las palabras tienen estrés en una sílaba. Rara una palabra que tenga dos estrés. Ok. Ok. Good job. Let's see. So, both feedback and mentorship are important elements of professional development. Development. Ok. And what about the next one? Fatima, would you like to continue? Both new and experienced employees can join the training. Repeat with me. Experienced. Experience. Again, experienced. Experienced. Perfect. Both new and experienced employees can join the training. Okay, so both and. This is talking about two ideas. Okay, linking, and that's what connectors are for. You link two ideas. Okay, both Fatima, easy, both Fatima and me are learning English. Easy. <laughs> okay. Hector, give me an example. Um, both uh, cars and motorcycles Cycles? can <laughs> transport me to my job. Perfect. Both cars and motorcycles can transport me to my job. Can transport me. Um, hmm, I need another word for that. And that's one more thing. Um, ¿Saben qué me ayudó a mí a desarrollar mi inglés? Uh -huh. cuando, cuando vine a saber que hablaba inglés, porque yo no sabía, como a los 16 años, que le hice caso a una prima que en paz descanse. Me dijo, háblate a vos mismo. Escúchate. La gente te va a decir que estás loco, pero escúchate. ¿Qué estás diciendo? Entonces vino el loco y empezó a practicar cuando iba caminando, más después, ahora, hoy en día, manejando. Y voy hablando solo. Hago de caso que estoy dando una conferencia en inglés y agarro cualquier tema. Y me pongo a hablar en español o en inglés, porque uno en español falta vocabulario, ¿sí o no? Ojo, ¿eh? Entonces, ¿qué va a surgir de eso? Sinónimos. Sinónimos en español o en inglés. Sinónimos. Hay mil maneras de decir la misma cosa, ¿no? Entonces, lo mismo en inglés. Mind this. Que le, no se dice ojo, eh. Ay, <ríe> ay, no, se dice mind that, mind that, mind this. Eso lo aprendí de Denzel Washington. Mind this. Es como decir tomar nota o, o en español decimos ojo, ojo, okay. mind this. Teacher, uh, the use of the phrasal verbs is. Uh... Phrasal verbs? Yeah. What do you mean? For example, um, oh. Case. Oh, 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 yeah, yes, is... you you want here and you in you your example, here. I for me, it's a phrase and verbs. I don't uh, mistakes, you don't like them. No, no, you don't use them. I don't use phrasal verbs or too many idioms. I'm, I'm like more formal, okay, in some occasions I readily use uh, phrasal verbs or, or idioms, really, readily. Once in a blue moon. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. What so, else is new? <laughs> yeah. That's what true. else is new? <laughs> what is? If it is new. What yes. else is new? Yeah. Oh, what else is new? Yeah, that's another idiom. That's good. Notice the Anything same... say you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me let me see. Uh, so now now look at the chart below. You have the grammar. Notice the same grammatical form should follow each part of the per conjunction. This is important. You cannot use different grammatical forms. So you can follow the example. Not only you have a sentence, okay, but also another sentence. Now, this with noun phrases, which is what your classmate was asking, a noun phrase is just a regular phrase, a subject, a verb, a complement could be, but also another noun phrase, subject, okay, verb, and complement. And with both, you may use this as well, both 
Ricardo, both. Andrea, both. Feedback. And you have another noun. You got it? It's not a verb. It's not a, a, a sentence or a noun phrase. It's a noun. Both math and chemistry were subjects that I didn't like at school. Both math and chemistry were subjects that I didn't like. Okay, now you can use an adjective too. Okay, both old and new music I like. Now you have an exercise. This is page 11. Let's go and do these exercises. You need to select letter A or letter B to be the correct answer on each example. I'm going to split you uh, so you can discuss. Um, una cosa que no mencioné durante la introducción es que estamos teniendo mucho cuidado con copyrights. Les, cuando yo les divido en grupos, para que vayamos acoplando este día nada más, les hablo en español, um, van a tener la opción de compartir su pantalla. Entonces, si alguien está en su computadora y puede compartir la página del libro para que todos colaboren, es mejor. ¿Ok? Good. Solo, no, no cuando, más tarde esta vez, no, pero pueden uh, compartir su pantalla y que no sean cosas que tengan copyright, por ejemplo. ¿Ok? Si no, no bloquean el video. <laughs> ok, teacher. Good. Ok, let's go. Participate. I'll be there. Teacher, question. <laughs> yes, Erika. Ok, eh, I hear what you says, new. But I used to say no. Mm. It's the same, it's different. No, it's, it's, there's no new. But in British, they, they said no. We're going to learn English from America. Hey. Thank you. That's American <laughs> English. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Let's go. <laughs> Nobody stays in this room. Let's go. Let's go. Accept the invitation. My goodness, nice to see you again, Nelson. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. And Jamie you is here too. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. And Adriana is the, is the new, is the new girl here. <laughs> okay. 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 Could you, could you share the... The exercise, please. Share. Would you share? Share. Share. <laughs> share. 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 Sabes que noto, Erika. Yes. Que está. Es... Tired, yes. No, no, no. Hay un trend. Hay un trend entre los bichos que están aprendiendo ahora. Es que se están uh -huh. copiando los. Se están copiando las nuevas palabras que se inventan uh, arruinando el idioma eso, cuidado cuidado, porque es decir, es como, no, tú, tú puedes aprender inglés mal de una persona que lo está aprendiendo, ¿sí me explico? Uh -huh. pero de, eh, mejor uh, pegatele a homies a uh, personas que han sido de, traídas de regreso al país o no sé, alguien, alguna, tú decías que hablas con tu mamá, no sé, con alguien oh my god cat. <risa> I have to, I no. have to I, yes. I have two cats and one is just like him or her. Okay, that, that's the idea. So don't yeah. copy. 
Yeah, try to do the thing, the right thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you want to talk British? Then listen to Adele. <laughs> no, I oh, don't understand her. <laughs> no. I know when she speaks, it's like what? Yes. But when you listen yeah. to her music. Yes. I heard. Oh, oh my God! Come on, guys. <laughs> okay. Let's do the exercise. One, two, three, go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Also, mm -hmm. number, number, letter A. Letter, letter A. Mm -hmm. Number A. Number two. Number three. Sorry. Letter B. Our experience, experience, and education are requirements to get a promotion. There are three. There are three. Number three. Sorry. Number three. Mm -hmm. Number four. People interested in professional development can 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 can. What opinion? I think it's number letter B. Okay. Only subscribe to our. Uh huh. Maybe. Yes, the I agree. I agree. Yeah. Number okay, three. Okay. Experience in education are requirements to get a promotion. Major mm -hmm. skill. Letter, letter B, both on and both experience and education high requirements to get the promotion. Letter B. Okay. Teacher, uh, questions, please. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Teacher, uh, what is translation? Mm, the not only. No solamente. No solamente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, number four. People interested in professional development can start your newsletter to get more information. But also, our sister for new courses. I think it's a very big number four. People in the it's uh, sir. Uh, I don't know. Affordable. Affordable. Then boost, I think, is like increase, more improve. Oh. Number three is letter B. Letter B. I agree. 
bring? Both experience and educational requirements to get a get promotion. promotion. Yeah. Both experience. And yeah, I'm away to both friends. Both experience and education are requirements to get a promotion. Okay. Um, can you mm -hmm. try with number four, Hector? Uh, um, let me see. People interested in professional development can... Um, uh, letter A, maybe. People interested in professional development can uh, not only subscribe to news letter, ah, newsletter to get more information on course. No, on course, sorry, on course, but also register to new courses. Oh, information notification. I think. Guys, if you allow me, I'll stand up for 30 seconds, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Okay. I think it's letter B. I think. Letter B. Uh -huh. mm. People interested in professional development can only subscribe to our newsletter to get more information on courses. But also, I don't know. I'm not sure. No, letter E. Letter B or letter A? For me, letter e. 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 uh -huh. People interested in professional development can not only subscribe to our new newsletter to get more information on the course, but also register for new courses. Okay. Means it's not you. You you can you can uh, get two option. Uh -huh. Not only subscribe, mm -hmm. you can, but also register. Register. I don't know who said register. 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 No register. I think mm -hmm. for new course. So you have you have two options in there. Uh huh. I think. Not only. Uh, if you, you use letter B, is 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 one? Do you, do you have one option? Can not only. Uh -huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think my mind is thinking that not only is negative. So I don't know. <laughs> so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you're right. Not only subscribe to our newsletter to get more information, of course, but also. Mm -hmm, you... Four and six. Yes, that's it. Yeah, that is. But that's interesting. So you you sell. You're a seller, Adriana, or like a customer mm. service, or no? Um, I am like like I'm. I don't treat with with client me and nothing like that. I don't like this part. <laughs> I just okay. yeah. I just try. I just. Work with um, I don't know I don't have to explain this. Um, I I work the practice the with the practice part of of my job. I don't have to treat with clients and don't have I don't have um video calls and nothing like that. I don't know what you do for work, actually. <laughs> I don't understand. Sorry, sorry. I didn't know.
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Okay. So let's talk about the possible answers. There was some sort of dilemma. And that happens because we don't read. We need to read. <laughs> analyze. It's very important for you to analyze things before you do anything. So what are we studying? What what what's the topic? Erika, what's the topic? Connectors. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh. Per, per, <laughs> per connectors, per conjunctions, but what are the per conjunctions that we're studying? Which ones? Lincoln. Uh, yeah, but how? Not only, but also. Not only, but also. Okay, not only, but also. Just, just wait. That that's one. That's one. Not only, but also. What's the other one? Ah, uh, that, that's just one. Yeah, this is just one. That's good. Thank you. Uh Oh, so no, not really. Yeah, this is just one paired conjunctions. They are a marriage, not only, but also is a contrast. Okay, no solamente, pero además. Okay, ambos y. Y por qué no nos dijo eso al principio, pues español, vea. I was lost, please. <laughs> It's a test. <laughs> It looks oh, guys. Can no. you repeat it, teacher? What? Lo que dije en español o, o todo? Yeah, the, the Spanish. No, the Spanish. No. The start of the class, teacher, please. Uh, the meaning, the meaning, okay. No solamente. Pero además, pero también, okay, not only, but also, ambos y. Teacher, I'm sorry, I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know if, if, I, if I'm the only one, but sometimes I saw some, like, uh, the squares on the screen, and I cannot see the... This one? The... This one? Yes. Estos son las uh, miniaturas de ustedes. O sea, tengo... Uh, oh. Ok, lo voy a sacar de la imagen. Ahí. ¿Ahí sí? Yeah. O oh, este también, Erika. Which one? Este. No, that's okay, but sometimes in the middle of the screen, you have one. Yeah, just like this one. Yes. Ok, estos son los controles de Zoom. Ok. Ok, okay good. So, so, uh, sorry. Yeah. Let's make sense of this. No solamente. ¿Qué dice ahí? Help me. In Spanish. In yes. Spanish. Uh -huh. Translate. Not only. No, no solamente obtuvo la beca. Uh -huh. Una beca. Ajá. Uh -huh. But also, Una beca, pero además eh, obtuvo un patrocinio para finalizar su estudio. Very good. Okay, now this is interpreting. Uh, well, in this case, was translating. Interpretar lo que tú lees y decirlo con tus propias palabras. Eso es interpretar. Alguien me decía. Um, traducir es textual. Okay, los libros traducen o interpreta e interpreta su propio percepción. ¿Y por qué menciono eso? Alguien lo mencionaba, ¿no? Yo trabajo de intérprete decía Erika a veces. Ok. Eh, y lo menciono también porque dependiendo de cuántos libros o cuántos estudios tú tengas, tu léxico no es igual al de alguien que solo llevas a tercer grado. ¿Sí me explico? Que nunca lee. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, mind that. Keep that in mind. Ok. Next one, the company offered not only training sessions, but also a mentorship program. Hector. 
the company offered not only training sessions, but also a mentorship program? Mm. In Spanish, teacher. Please translate. Okay. La compañía no solamente ofrece sesiones oh, de entrenamiento. Past. Hmm? Past. Ah, ah, okay. Yes, yes. No solamente ofrecía. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Ofreció, ajá. Ofreció, ajá, este, eh, sesiones de entrenamiento, sino también una, un programa de mentorship. I don't know, teacher. Mentorship. mentorship. Mentorado. Tutoría. Mentoring. Tutoría. Mal aliento. <ríe> Mental. Pero además, no, tutoría. Hay que, hay que... <ríe> un programa ¿Cómo? de tutorías, pero también. Ah, un programa de un... tutorías. Pero además, un programa de tutorías. Very good. Ok, that makes more sense, right? Let's see. Uh, Adriana, what about both? Feedback and mentorship are important elements of professional development. Ambos, el feedback y eh, la mentoría son importantes elementos para eh, el desarrollo personal, perdón, pro, pro, eh, profesional. La retroalimentación, ajá, y la tutoría, ok, ambos, la retroalimentación y la tutoría son importantes, son elementos importantes. Muy buen punto, Ariana. Recuerden, todo lo que va antes del nombre lo está calificando, no es como en el español, que primero decís el nombre y después son los adjetivos, no, es al revés en el inglés, no. Entonces, ¿cómo, ¿de qué me sirve eso? Ah, pues lo que acaba de hacer Arena, le era al revés, elementos importantes de él. Al revés, hasta donde encontras una preposición usualmente, como lo ves acá, ¿ok? Entonces, va si estás traduciendo, pensé en eso, tengo una preposición, entonces muy probablemente ese es el nombre y eso es un adjetivo, ¿no? Elements, okay. elementos importantes de desarrollo profesional adjetivo, nombre ok, and the last one uh, Ivan both new and new and experienced employees can join the <laughs> sorry <we can>. yeah. <laughs> Ivan um, I will try it <laughs> Ambos, lo nuevo y lo experimentado, los empleados, oh, oh. puede... No, lo no. Acabo... Ajá, ajá, muy bien. ¿Qué pasó? Lo que acabo de explicar. Ambos, nuevos y experimentados, eh, ambos nuevos y... Ambos, nuevos y experimentados, empleados. Ok. Uh -huh. Join, join, joins, uh, it's like a... ¿Eh? Unirse. Eh, unirse. ¿eh? Pueden unir, unirse al entrenamiento. Yeah. A la capacitación. Pueden unirse al entrenamiento, a la capacitación. Ambos empleados nuevos y experimentados. Ah. Ambos empleados nuevos y experimentados pueden unirse al entrenamiento. Good job. Ok, let's go with the answers really quick. So, <clears throat> having said that, Having said that, sorry, having said that, habiendo dicho eso, having said that, we started not only but also in both and what's the answer for number one? Letter B. Letter, Letter B. B. Be. Are you sure? Isn't it weather or? Yes, of course. <laughs> oh my God. And you were like debating. No, I think it's weather or. Come on. No, it's both in. Yes, guys, this is what we're studying. So, both training and formal education. Dijo Shen, teacher. Yes, Sean. No, Shen. Education. Education, frustration, okay. Affect an employee's professional development, okay. Both training and formal education affect an employee's professional development. Number two. Number two. 
Okay. Hey. Hey. Yes. <laughs> Not only are online courses an affordable, affordable way affordable. to learn. <laughs> yeah, difficult words. Course. Repeat. Of course. Course. Of course. Of course. Por supuesto, of course. Okay. So the same thing, courses. Si dices course, oh. es maldición. Okay, be careful. Not only online courses are affordable, affordable oh. way to learn. And I'm sorry, I ate the article. Not only are online courses an affordable, an affordable, an affordable way to learn, but also they are a good way to boost your resume. Hold on. Resume. Resume. It's not a resume. No. <laughs> Let's say you're watching a movie. Okay? You're watching a movie. And then you pause. You pause the movie. You want to go to the bathroom. So you pause the movie. Then you come back and you hit the play button. And then you resume the movie. Okay? It's not playing back. You're resuming. Resume. 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 One more. Another one. Erika, how do you read this word? Yes. Record and record. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Yes. Do you have a criminal record? <laughs> or do you record. record, do you have a criminal record for recording people on the street? <laughs> do you record people on the street? Record. record. It's filming, right? You're filming, you're... Yes. Los gringos dicen videotaping todavía. Eso ya no existe, videotaping. Are you videotaping me? And you're with your cell phone. There's no cassette inside. You know, you're not videotaping someone. Okay, record. <laughs> they're just laughing. Okay, record, record. What's your record? What's your background? Okay, let's record that there. Okay, let's continue. Number three, A or B, Fatima. B, both experience and education are requirements to get a promotion. Good job. Okay, both experience and education are requirements to get a promotion. Love it. Let's see, Daniel, number four. I can write later. Okay. Number four is letter B. Equal. People interested in professional development. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Ivan left running. <laughs> no, no, it's no, no, yeah, no, no, no. I have a I have I have a trouble. <laughs> what what's wait, going wait. on, Ivan? <laughs> Give me a minute. Give me. Oh, sorry. I thought that you were saying no 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 i'm i'm with daniel the teacher is gonna be upset oh my god he left running okay ivan i mean daniel daniel go ahead is it is not only is not only but also remember no, not only but also. Okay. do it again go daniel okay people interested in professional development can not only subscribe to our newsletter to get more information on courses. But also register for new courses, courses notification. Courses. Repeat with me, Daniel. Interested. 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 Interest. Interested. Uh, Interest. Interest. Interested. Interested. Good job. Interested. Interested. Okay, repeat with me. Courses. 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 
Courses. Courses. Courses. Singular. Course. Course. Courses. Courses. Next. Course. Regi register. Re register. Register. Mm -hmm. It's not a G. It's G. Register for new okay. courses notifications. Good job. Okay. Number five. Number wait, wait, wait. It's new. Like, wait. It's new. <laughs> newsletter or newsletter? Good job. Newsletter. <laughs> News. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. We're going to have trouble, Erika. Nelson, go with number five. <laughs> The company not only needed a manager to encourage training opportunities, but also a person to work closely with employees. Professional. Professional development. Professional development. Develop, development, yeah, development. But this word, encourage. Encourage. Just forget about the you. Encourage. 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 Yep. Rich. 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 Okay. Encourage. Encouragement. Have some encouragement. Okay. Good. Number six is brought to you by Ruth Isela. Teacher, the word is development or or develop. Man. Both development, 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 development. I couldn't. Let me see if I can do this here. Am I sharing the audio? Yes, I'm sharing the audio. Wait a minute. Let's find out. Number six. Hopefully they don't ban this video. And um and software development. I know I keep talking. Development. It was personal development. It was development. social development. Development. We can all agree on the imperative of smart development. So thank you on the imperative of smart development. So we can all agree on the imperative of smart development. So, Did you hear that? Who's that? Yes, development. Who's talking? Come on, that was Obama. Okay, Mr. Obama. Mr. Obama, yeah. Okay, so yeah, Number six. development, thank you. Number six. Okay, it is the responsibility of a leader but, but, but to encourage learning of new skills and to promote the participation of employees in trainings and coaching sessions. Good job. Let's repeat. It is the responsibility. 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 Next, leader. Leader. Good job. Leader. Leader. Cada vez que tengo una D de dedo, una T de tomate, entre dos vocales, debo de pronunciarla como R, 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 R. Okay? Okay. So, how do you say carta in English? <laughs> Later. Oh. Later. 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 How do you say hasta luego in English? See you later. Later. See you later. later. <laughs> How do you say lagarto in English? Alligator. Alligator. So see you later, alligator. <laughs> later. 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 Alligator. Later. Okay. Good job. Uh, and yes, there is a uh, confusion and Erika, you, how do you say uh, escalera in English, everybody? Escalera de peldaños, eh? No. De la, de la casa. Ah, no. That's the one in the house. Later. Later? No, you say ladder. Ah. Okay, ladder. That's like the exception, ladder. 
ladder or ladder. Okay. Um, then you say promote. 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 And lastly, coaching. Coaching. Coaching sessions. Coaching sessions. Coaching sessions. Coaching sessions. Sessions. Bien, quiero que esto lo pronuncien como shen, shen, ok? Education, sessions, 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 ok? okay. ¿Y por qué solo porque usted dice? Eh, háganme caso, ¿eh? después ya cuando hable más fluido, cuando usted suelte la sopa y, y cuando hable sin pensar en inglés, le va, me va a agradecer cuando alguien le diga a un americano, oh my god, you're Salvadorian? Nah, way. Yeah. That happened to me many times. And I didn't know why. But the thing is, since I, I mimicked, I mimicked so many accents like Sinatra's, you know, and Polanka, Nat King Cole, I don't know, George Michael, people like that. So I just got their best. I mean, their accent. I don't know. In call centers, it has happened to me a lot. Uh, there's always angry customers, you know, and give me your supervisor. I want to talk to somebody in America. They go like, okay, let me transfer you. They used to transfer me the calls. At the end of my calls, a supervisor, I used to go like, hey, guess what? What? I'm in El Salvador. They were like, what? No way. No, no, no. They never asked me. I mean, <laughs> you know. It's so funny. Es tan gracioso. Te vas a divertir cuando hables suelto y pelado, como dicen. Eh, yo de verdad le digo una inquietud que tenía era lo que decía. Uh, where is it, Jolman? Uh, yo empezaba. Nosotros los que nacimos entre los 70 y los 80 tenemos la dicha de ver este desarrollo de la tecnología y pues si tuviste acceso a eso, aunque sea en los cibercafés se llamaba, ¿verdad? Sí, info, yes. info centros. Ah, no, pues, yes. uh, sí. Este maestro sí está maestro, dice Jamie. Yes. Sí, el café también. Sí, me acuerdo de Antelva. Oh, God, I'm so old. Qué bien. ¿Me too? ¿You too? ¿Really? Pero el punto es que yo, no sé, algo me dijo... Hey, hay más allá hay más cosas ahí en el internet ok, uh, sí, verdad el... y ya va, cargó, ok, hoy sí y el y pum, se cae la señal era una gran cosa pero lo que, yo siento que Diosito me regaló eso, como discernir y decir bueno, lo voy a ocupar para algo bueno, ¿no? y empezó cuando me lo prestaba mi tío acá en San Salvador pues, buscar cosas que leer porque no empezaba YouTube, de hecho, en los 90. So, think about it. Eh, traten de revisar lo que les he enviado. Practiquen. Eh, hagan lo que les decía esta noche, si es posible. Porfa, eh, revisen su tiempo. Pónganse un horario para poder estudiar. Me quedo con Adriana José. Ten minutes. Ok. Adriana José Serna Durán. Thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present. Erika Jasmín Martínez Carpio. Present. Good night. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present. Good night. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Present teacher. Thank you. Iván Petrovic Guzmán Aquino. I'm here. Thank you. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Jolman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Good night. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Thank you. Lucy Nathalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nelson Antonio Herrodas Rosales. Present. Thank you. Good night. Ruth Isela Joaquín Flores. Present. Thank you. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present. 
Thank you. Good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. We... Where's Adriana? You are not Adriana. <laughs> ¿Dónde está Adriana? ¿Usted no es Adriana? ¿Qué le pasó? I'll text her. Good night, Ruth. Oh, my God. Adriana. Okay, so this is a big surprise. Pay attention, okay? I'm going to show you something really quick about the ED endings, taking advantage that, well, your classmate was supposed to stay for 10 minutes, but she couldn't, I guess. So let's take advantage of the time and pay attention. There are... Okay, sorry. There are three different sounds for ED endings in English. Okay, so uh, it's important for you to learn these three sounds, starting by the t, t sound, okay? The t sound. This is the first sound. So you push the tip of your tongue on the back of your teeth. T -t 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 -t. Okay? Then um, that's the first sound. The second sound is the... The same thing. Your, the, the tip of your tongue comes on the back of your teeth, but this time you just leave it there and it vibrates. Okay? And the third sound is just eve, eve, or oh, ev, ev. How does that work? So step number one, <clears throat> for this only works for regular verbs that end, I mean, regular verbs, the, all of them end on ed, right? So when a verb, on its base form doesn't produce any sound on your mouth, on your throat, okay? How do you know this? Well, you put your hands on your throat and you say the verb on its base form. So you say, help, help, look, sniff, laugh, Wash, watch, watch, kiss, dance, dance, fix. So all of these verbs on their base form are voiceless. There's no vibration on your uh, talking system, on your throat, your mouth. No vibration. So what you do is at the end of that verb, you add the sound. T -t -t. For example, instead of help, now you say helped. Help. Looked. Sniffed. Laughed. Washed. 
watched, watched, kissed, danced, fixed, fixed. Now the difference, uh, there is a, another set of verbs that are voiced, which produce vibration on your throat and your mouth, you know, sometimes behind your nose, okay? There's a cavity here. And there are some vibrations. So, for example, on their base form, you say call, call. Again, put your hands. Call. You say clean, clean. There's vibration. Offer, offer. Damage, damage. Love. This is very clear. Okay, love. Use amaze, amaze, rub, oh. rub, climb. That's the base form of these verbs. Now let's look at the past. You say cold, <clears throat> sorry, cold, cold, cleaned, cleaned. Offered, offered, damaged, damaged, loved, loved, used, used, amazed, rubbed, rubbed, claimed. And lastly, <clears throat> if the verb on its based form already ends on or the, okay, for example, want or add or act, then you add the ed and it sounds strictly like id, and sometimes like ed. For example, wanted, wanted. You may hear this word as wanted, wanted. Again, wanted or wanted. Acted, acted. Need, needed, one more time, needed, wanted, wanted. Let's look at some words and you can distinguish if, you can do this. You can draw on a notebook, the little ID with um, slashes, okay? Slash, ID, slash slash v slash slash t slash to identify the different three pronunciations okay and then you go ordering each word ready okay you can always pause the video so you say applauded find danced fixed followed toasted toasted Hated, painted, treated, damaged, damaged, stained, watched, stopped, stopped, kicked. Hope you enjoyed it. Please practice. That's very important. EDNS. See you tomorrow.